Late last week, the Korean government raised the electricity rate for the first time in nearly a year by an average of 5.4 percent. The move comes amid concerns of the country's heavy reliance on power and possible blackouts during peak seasons. For more on the latest electricity price hike, we're joined by Dr. Kim Jong-in, professor of economics at Chungang University. Thanks for coming to the studio. It's my honor to be here. Thank you. Professor Kim, there have been mixed reviews on the latest electricity price hike. What is your uh, take on this? I mean, uh, do you think it will be effective enough to curb energy consumption? Uh, probably effective for the time being, but I think not effective in the long run, which means I think the price might be go up a little bit more because at, even if the government increased the electric city price, I think they need to increase more. since. Uh, the price for unit of uh, uh, electric prices is uh, still lower than the original production cost. So in order to equalize the production cost and then benefit, the government should increase a little bit more, unfortunately. So we've experienced power crises year after year, almost season after season. How bad is the shortage situation? Uh, actually, if the uh, comparing petroleum and natural gas, electric city price is much lower than the original petroleum and the coal. So that's why many people are pushing, uh, uh, using the electric city because of the cheap price. Mm, I see. Well, the price hike, uh, it's expected to have a serious impact on the local industrial sector. Which part do you think will be the hardest hit and how bad do you expect the fallout to be? Probably the hardest hit uh, might on the industry side because they have a very, very uh, beneficiary over the past 30 years. But uh, within two years, the government is keep increasing the price of electricity, especially for the industry sector. So probably they are going to increase their production cost and management cost too. But at the same time, they are going to find out the energy efficiency way, energy saving way in the industrial process. So. Uh, if not, probably their competitiveness with the other countries' uh, market might be decreased. So that is their burden and also responsibility, I think. So from what you say, it sounds like electricity here in Korea is subsidized at an un unsustainable level and nuclear energy was seen as a possible way to expand the source of cheap energy. Mm. But now that Korea and other nations are moving away from nuclear power, mm. what other sources do we have realistically? Probably the public awareness of the nuclear power is very, very increasing. So they are very worried about the nuclear power. That's why the UK, Germany, and even the United States uh, try to avoid nuclear power, even if it's very cheap. So I think uh, reliance on nuclear power is probably getting decrease and decrease, even in Korea too. Uh, then probably the coal power plant, natural gas, especially renewable energy, such as uh, photovoltaic or wind power or biomass energy, based on food waste or sludge might increase in the future. Mm. Well, you said earlier that you're expecting a further jump in energy prices. By yes. how much do you expect it to Probably rise? another 10 percent at the maximum, year by year, as an accumulation. Mm. So 10 percent, because now, right now around the 90 or 93 percent of the uh, energy price is setting, but still 7 percent has a gap. So probably the government will increase uh, I think uh, more than more than seven percent, or at least ten uh, percent. I think in the future, within maybe three or five years. Three or five years. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, Dr. Kim, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here.